Let's take a look at organizational reporting. From your Organizations tab, navigate to Reporting. And then from here, you have two options. You have your Event Logs and Reports. Let's look first at Reports. From within Reports, you have very similar reports available as an end user would have. The top three you'll really want to focus on when you are first onboarding to Bitwarden, particularly if you are transitioning from a previous password manager. The first, Exposed Passwords, will show you any passwords that were exposed in a data breach. So these are known to be exposed. You'll hit Check and it will provide you a list of exposed passwords that are found within your organizational vault. You can navigate to each one, go to the site that's impacted, and go ahead and get that changed. Reused passwords is going to show you the same report, but for any passwords that have been reused between different logins, so if you're using a strong password, but are using it, for example, with your Google login, with Adobe, with GitHub, with several other sites, this makes it more vulnerable as if any one of those accounts is breached, the others are very likely to be breached as well. The weak passwords report is going to identify any existing passwords that are weak or very weak, so you can update them to strong passwords. This most often comes into play when migrating from another solution that doesn't enforce minimums, like the Google Chrome Password Manager. The last two reports are to encourage safer browsing online. The first, Unsecure Websites, will identify any URLs that have been saved for a login that start with HTTP instead of HTTPS. The second will identify any websites where two-step login is known to be available, but it has not been enabled with Bitwarden Authenticator. The other reports that are available to you are the event logs. Event logs are the bird's eye view of everything that has been happening within your organizational account. They will log the timestamp, the user's client, which user or member performed the action, and over 50 different event types. If, rather than the bird's eye view, you'd like to see the event logs for a particular member or a particular item, you can navigate to that member, click the three dots next to their name, and look at the event logs. That will give you the same information, but for that specific user. If you want to see the same information, but for a particular login, perhaps a sensitive login, you can navigate to that item, click the three dots, and view the event logs. You'll see the same information, but then for that particular item.